Luke, I am your father. Hey YouTube, Jake Kilroy back in the shop for a little 3D printing video, a topical, I guess, uh, 3D printing video uh, for our times. And um, this is about 3D printing masks. There you go. So these are, you know, the great COVID-19 face mask shortage. Um, and I'm not here to debate whether or not masks help or not. I'm not a doctor. I don't play one on television. I'm not a epidemiologist, none of that, right? Uh, I just know you can't buy masks anywhere, right? So. I've got this uh, 3D printed mask design. This is not my design. I will link below to the website where this design was sourced. They've put this out there. And I will also link to the STL files. I'm gonna pull the camera around. We're gonna go into a little more detail about how this thing works and how you can print one on your own 3D printer. All right, here's the mask. Um, it's a uh, printed one piece this side down on the platter like so and uh, I printed these on my Lulz bot um, in AB I um, in PLA um, with a pretty small layer height I think I used about a tenth of a millimeter layer height it's about a five hour print uh, and this is how it works. So you print this as one piece. Then you've got this interior, this little piece here, that will go into this hole. Now, without any filter media on it, it just falls through, right? So then you get some filter media. This is a this is a taken apart. Um, filter air filter and it's best if you can find air filters that are HEPA or MERV 14 style filters with a and then you cut a small piece of this out and then insert it in here you can and then you can just trim around the opening and there you go it sits in there nice and firmly and um, works fine. Then I just used some um, elastic. I had to cut this. A quarter inch elastic would, would be perfect. I had to cut this in half. And then um, you've got a mask, right? Uh, the model that you'll get, I printed this at 100%, right? If for smaller individuals, you can print this at a reduced scale. Um, say scale it down to 95 90 or even you know 85 percent for children or small small people um, the um, you can also uh, put some soft weather stripping in here to help it seal to your face it fits my chubby face just fine no no extra sealing necessary, but this is something that would have to be fit on a per individual basis. Like I said, this is this is, this is some certified mask. This isn't guaranteed to protect you from anything. Uh, if nothing else, it'll keep you from touching your face, right? So anyway, again, I'll have the links down below, and um, for for all this information, and I've got one on the printer right now, so I'm going to show you that.
So there you go. You are now fully equipped to print mask at home. And you know, honestly, after all this is over, these would probably work quite well in the shop for grinding dust, um, you know, particulate matter, not vapor, organic vapor, stuff like that. Um, you would still need a traditional, you know, paint style mask, chemical style mask for that. But for uh, just sanding and, and stuff like that, this, this would probably work out pretty good. And um, you take apart one good size air filter and you get a lot of this, right? By the time you unpleat it, um, last your lifetime. It's cleanable, washable, um, you know, so there you go, better than nothing. Again, I'm not going to debate whether or not mask help, don't help. If nothing else, it'll keep me from touching my face, right? Maybe remind me to maintain my social distancing. So anyway, be safe in the shop. I'll be back with you soon.